think that everything we go through in the past teaches us a lesson and it's meant to show you something. I would say our past relationships, our broken relationships, all the things that we went through that were super tough and difficult. We found each other. It made us appreciate what we had in each other, but we knew it was given through God. Because you don't get muscle without lifting weight, but it's just <laughs> like, I remember the tears. I am an emotional guy. Growing up experiencing God in different denominations influenced me man tremendously and some things that were in common is that god loved you no matter what church i was in show love to your neighbors your brothers and sisters no matter what church i was in and no matter what i know that god loves me and my family and everybody unconditionally and i'll speak that for those of you who don't know us we have two daughters we have brie who is 19 and carson who is four and i would say they both think they are 40. So our experience and our story of getting Brie was nothing short of a miracle. It wasn't expected when it happened. We always knew that we would end up together. We didn't know how. There were a lot of challenges, uh, financial responsibilities. We were just getting married. So Brie is definitely the one who gave me the title and role of mom first. And I think that's one of those challenges too when you have a blended family because everybody would always say, oh, y'all don't have any kids. And I'm like... Or you ain't gonna know. Wait till, she, wait till you have yeah, your biological yeah, child. Yeah, it's not the same. You know, wait till you have your own child. She's not really your... And I'm like... Chris used to get so offended. I, I'm I, like, I, I, would, I had a long history of women is, woman issues with my body and had multiple surgeries. I only have part of an ovary. I went to the multiple doctors when I was in my 20s who said... You know, some were like, oh, you're never going to get pregnant. Some said, if you did, you're going to have a tubal pregnancy. So we went to this doctor and he gave Chris this prescription to fill. I said, honey, I'm not going to fill the prescription. I don't want to do it. I just don't feel right. Something's not, you know, sitting right with me. And he's like, OK, well, I support you. And we sitting there having a fantasy foot, trying to get ready for our fantasy football draft. And Chris comes out the bathroom with this thing saying she pregnant. This I'm like trying to month. get Christian McCaffrey. This was like a month later. Me and Chris sitting down doing the math and Chris was already pregnant when we were in the doctor's office and he wrote the prescription and gave us the cup. So it's kind of possible. And re some of the things that we read and were told by the doctor said that if we would have taken the prescription, it could have possibly terminated the pregnancy or caused troubles with the, the child. Yep. Yeah. So I would say, believe, man, you, you got to believe that God has what you need if you, according to his will. And I would just say that you can never give up on God because he's never going to give up on us. And we know that we're faced with troubles of all kinds, small, big, mine might be big to me, but small to you. But what you're going through is only a temporary season and you're gonna come through it no matter what, whether it's what you thought it should be or not, but you're gonna get through it, you know, with your faith. I love being a father. I think it's the most amazing thing ever. And it makes me think about Jesus, man, dude. And I asked Bree one day, Bree, you know I love you. You know, I don't want to see nothing go wrong with you. So why wouldn't you just believe me? And then Jesus was like, well, <laughs> you know, I love you. What makes you do what you do? And it, it kind of aligned. I want to be the dad that they remember looking up and seeing when they had something that they thought was special. I think our faith in God came way before our relationship. That was a thing that was being built far before we met each other. But once we got together, we realized it was our faith that carried us through. And once, you know, we got with each other, it just continued that way. And we know that God's way is the only way.